Hi guys, it's Nora Nice 40 Something Books and today I'm filming Tuesday Talks and as always the Goodreads link will be below and um, please check out everybody's videos because they're very good. And today's topic is does the size of a book affect what you read? And yes it does, it affects me quite a lot. Um, I read a number of books at the same time and often from different genres and different kind of feelings for different types of times I should say of the day. So at night time I like something light that's not going to be too distressing and I usually leave that by my bed and it can often be YA or contemporary or a light romance. And then during the day I will read more complex novels and plots. And um, I have always sort of not really gone for the very long books or the big huge books because they kind of frighten me. I like big books and I cannot lie, isn't really Orla. But um, I have downloaded A Little Life, which is huge. And I think maybe because it's on my Kindle, I might be less frightened and overwhelmed by the amount of pages in it. But I can see where certain genres and certain um, writers might feel the need to write longer books in the sense that, say for example, a dystopian novel, they're often world building. And so therefore they need that length of space to really create the plot and the characters and get the feeling for a book. And then I've noticed that I used to read really tinsy wincy books because I felt they weren't good value for money. Um, but since Booktube is on, I have embraced the smaller book and I really can admire a writer who can be concise in their writing to the point of having a complete novel in such a short space of pages and words. And so um, I think what generally happens with me is when I'm picking different books, if it's a light contemporary book and it's absolutely massive, I think I'm going to get bored. So the different size of novels does affect me and I try to sort of have a mix of sizes and genres when I'm reading. Um, so yeah, I suppose it does subconsciously affect what I pick up to read or what I rent from the library or what I'll order online. So um, yeah, I think if it's a light contemporary, it shouldn't be massively long. Um, one of the better books I read this year was The Children's Act by Ian McEwan and it was during book Jubaton and it was a short book and it was an excellent read. So, you know, you can have long books such as A Little Life, which is really, really long and has gotten wonderful reviews. I haven't read it yet um, and was shortlisted for The Man Booker. Uh, so really, I suppose it depends on the author and the genre that they're in, whether or not it's worth investing that much time in a really long book. So please leave your comments and um, as always it's been lovely to have this chat, bye.